Maranatha, my PBC family and friends. Pastor Brian here with another Quick Bite, Living the Word. Uh, today our word is going to come from some instructions to us as the church from Paul, uh, the apostle, in Romans chapter 12, and of course the Lord himself. But uh, Romans chapter 12, and I want to pick it up at verse 9. Uh, so, Because uh, there's just a continuous thought here, and then we'll stop and talk along the way as we go through this, uh, as we read down through verse 13. It says this, let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil, cleave to that which is good. So here as we get ready to enter the weekend, it's a Friday today, guys, as we get ready to enter the weekend, many times we start to run out and do things and just get busy and whatnot. And this is what he's telling us to do. And I don't have a problem with those things, but make sure that you abhor that which is evil while you're out there. Meaning to literally turn away from the things that you know are not right in the eyes of the Lord. To turn away from the things that are evil. But then he says, let love be without dissimulation. In other words, here's the point. Don't be judgmental in who you sh think you should love. Love everyone as Christ loved them. Now, I'm not saying that I means you have to go out and give everybody hugs and things of that nature, guys. But what I'm telling you is that we should not sit there and, and, and prejudge every given situation. Think about yesterday um, as uh, Miss Sean was coming out of a store and, and her feet were a little bit sore. So she was walking kind of slow. And a lady behind her goes, could you hobble any faster? Like just rude. I mean, just flat out rude. And I thought to myself, boy, but how many times have I thought in my own heart something along those lines? To somebody who maybe is driving too slow in front of me. Or maybe somebody who is, uh, you know, uh, cutting me off in traffic. Or, or perhaps somebody who's just, uh, you know, I, I don't know. You, know. you know, situations you run into. And we just kind of get in our own hearts, ugh, like that. And it's like, let love be without dissimulation. Show kindness, guys. Be loving. Cleave to that which is good, he says. Be kindly affectionate. Again, there it is. In particular, one to another. With brotherly love and honor preferring one another. Not slothful in business, so not lazy about the things that, you've been, that you're supposed to be doing. Fervent in the spirit and serving the Lord. So in other words, if you have a service for the Lord, don't be slothful in those things. Be, 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 be fervent about those things. Be on, on fire about to, doing things for God. Rejoicing in hope. Patient in tribulation. Now, rejoicing in hope. I love that. Why can't we? Why can we live with this life like this? How can we handle this life like this? Because our life is focused not on this world, but rejoicing in the hope to come when the Lord Jesus Christ calls his people home. Rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation. See, I, this is something I, I know that we don't like to think about, but did you know how many times the Bible tells us that we're going to face tribulation, we're going to have hard times, and he tells us to what? Whine, moan, and complain about it? No, be patient in it. Give in to hospitality. I'm sorry, I jumped down one. Continue an instant in prayer. So, and how do we handle that with those times of tribulation? We pray. We pray, we pray, and we remember the hope we have, our Lord Jesus Christ. And then, last but not least, distributing to the necessity of the saints and given to hospitality. This one kind of convicted me this morning. Uh, we have some missionary guests coming in, and um, and so my heart this morning, I woke up, I was just tired. I'm like, and I don't know about you guys, I have this phrase, I say, I'm done peopling for today, right? I just, I mean, I've done enough people, I need just a moment to myself here. And, uh, and so, and God's like, you got to be given to hospitality. You got to continue to people. As long as I'm giving you people to people with, then you better be peopling. <laughs> and so I'm like, okay, Lord, you're right. I need the people. Despite what my flesh may say, despite what I may think, I need to do what you're calling me to. So this is literally what I want us to look at and focus on this weekend, guys, is literally taking care of those around us, loving everyone, not looking for things to be irritated about, not looking for things to get all grouchy about, abhorring that which is evil, cleaving to that which is good, rejoicing because our God is coming for us, and being patient, being patient. And ultimately, at the end of the day, if we exercise these things, then we can always and will always be able to distribute to the necessity of the saints and to be given to hospitality. We'll be able to show that great love of our Savior to all around us, preferring one another, loving one another. So I hope this encourages you this weekend. Go out. Have a great weekend. We'll see you here again on Monday. I love you all. I truly do say that. I do absolutely love each and every one of you. And some of you may not even ever met me before, and I want you to know something. I love you too. At the very least, I love you because my Savior loves you so much. And when I get the opportunity to meet you, I'm sure I'll love you even more. So God bless you. Have a great weekend. And always remember that I love you. We love you. God loves you. And God's got this.